Good morning and welcome to all of you. Uh, we are happy and, and really uh, excited to have this second day. We are uh, celebrating the HEADS 2014 Best Practices Showcase, celebrating technology innovation for Hispanic success in higher education. On behalf of the Hispanic Educational Technology Services Consortium, HEADS, we would like to thank you for being with us this morning. My name is Luz Nereida Vélez, and I will be your host this morning. We want to point out that there is simultaneous translation available for all presentations. Headsets are available at the registration area for your convenience. This historic event brings together for the third time in Heads Chronicles an unprecedented amount of expert accommodations to highlight the most prominent opportunities to enhance Hispanic higher education through the savvy use of technology. This outstanding group of professionals creates an extraordinary synergy from which we hope to take advantage during this event. The HEADS Consortium is already excited since it's celebrating 20th anniversary. And we have during this event the presence of more than 30 out of 40 of its members' institutions from Puerto Rico, United States, and Latin America. We also welcome attendees from other institutions and organizations who are interested in this topic as well. We invite you to visit HEADS website at heads.org to see the special section created to celebrate our history with information and videos of current and former leaders of HEADS. To begin this event, I would like to acknowledge the presence of several people who have been fundamental in the development and continuous transformations of the HEADS consortium. First, HEADS would like to acknowledge the presidents and board members representative of its member institutions from Puerto Rico, the United States, and Latin America accompanying us today. Thank you for sharing this special occasion with us. Please give them a round of applause. I would also like to recognize several corporations and organizations that have made this event possible. Our sponsors, Blackboard, Grupo Parada, the Educational Testing Service, Sistema TV, Canal Universitario, Ana Jiménez, Latin PAC, Imprenta Ana Jiménez, University System, Lighthouse, Interactive Technology Group, GoPrint, Universia, Office Max, and Coca-Cola. Thank you for your commitment and support. Likewise, HEADS would also like to recognize the collaboration and support of the staff at Universidad del Sagrado Corazón, who made possible this event. We are deeply grateful for your support. We also like to welcome all participants present at Universidad del Sagrado Corazón's theater. We really appreciate your interest and support to this initiative. Gracias. Thank you for your time and hard work. We would like uh, to acknowledge the invaluable collaboration of the evaluation committee appointed by the board of director who were in charge of reviewing and scoring projects submitted in order to select the top best practices to be presented at this event. This group is truly an exemplary group of professionals. Their dedication and passion transcend their volunteer work. Assessing more than 35 proposals competing to be showcased in this event, we want to recognize individually and by focus areas, also known as tracks, the members of its evaluation committee. We will begin with a distance learning track evaluated by the following committee members. I would like to mention uh, Rene Sainz from Ana Jiménez University System, Dr. Robert Whitaker from Lehman College, Professora Maria M. Cruz Guillotti from Huertas College, and Professor Eida Delgado from the Polytechnic University of Puerto Rico. The second track is retention assessed by the following evaluation committee members. I would like to mention Dr. James Jana from John Jay College of Criminal Justice, CUNY, Dr. Manuel Cordero from Ana Hanna Jimenez University System, Dr. Dallas Reed from Berkeley College. And the third and final track is assessment, and we would like to acknowledge the following evaluation committee members, Dr. Gil Clary from Hudson University, Dr. Marisa Ortiz from the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico, and Dr. Virginia Moreno from John Jay College of Criminal Justice.
At this moment, I would like to invite to join me up here uh, Dr. Manuel Fernos, head chairman, and Mrs. Jubelkis Montalvo to present some recognitions, please. Okay, we cannot conclude this acknowledgement without showing our appreciation to our new institutional and corporate members. Certainly, their trust in our mission and their constant support made possible our uninterrupted offering of services. We wish for each recipient to please come up stage when your name is mentioned. Heads, new institutional member are California State University at San Bernardino. Please welcome President Tomas Morales to receive these recognitions a new Heads member. <laughs> the next one is Atenas College. Please welcome President Maria Hernandez Nunez to receive these recognitions as new heads member. And Bergen Community College, please welcome Jennifer Migliorino Reyes, Dean of Student Support Services, to receive this recognition as a new HEADS member. Well, gracias and thank you. We would like to express our gratitude to all participating speakers from HEADS member institutions, to our collaborators, sponsors, and volunteers that have made this event possible. Thank you, gracias. For those of you interested in joining the Hispanic Educational Technology Services or interested in any of its trainings or workshops, you can contact the HEADS office or visit HEADS website at www.heads.org for more information. Finally, I would like to recognize those presenters who obtained the highest scores in each conference track. Please join us on stage when we mention your name. Please welcome Dr. Jane Delgado from Boto of Manhattan Community College, who received the highest score in the assessment track. Congratulations, Dr. Delgado. Please welcome Dr. Celia Cruz Johnson from San Jose Community College, who received the highest score in the distance learning track. Congratulations, Dr. Cruz. And finally, please join us, Dr. Marva Cray and Dr. Michael Hutmaker from Boda of Manhattan Community College, who received the highest score, not only within the retention track, but all tracks. Congratulations, Dr. Cray and Dr. Hutmaker.
Congratulations to all of you. We thank President Fernos and Jubelkis for their assistance with these important recognitions, and we invite the track winners to stay with us at this stage.